Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smart Agenda. Smart Agenda. <laughs> there used to be a time when babies were babies. Cute, cuddly and a bit smelly. Nah I mean. And the government and the media need enemies. And we of course must hate these enemies. Nothing about them should seem human, even the babies. But how on earth do you make a baby seem evil? I mean who on earth would accept something like this? Aha! There you go! The Metro! Leading the way. It does beg the question, how is a baby meant to be linked to terrorism? I mean come to think of it, the only terrorism they really do is the chemical warfare during their feeding time. The constant biological warfare that takes place in their nappies. Or the false flag attacks they're constantly practicing with the action figures. I mean fair enough yeah, have whatever opinion you want against Shamima. I've made a video with Ali Dawa to say that this Shamima business is not the centre of the issue. It's the fact that your citizenship can be revoked if the government deems you to be a threat. And this can be a problem in the long run because the government can see anything as a threat. Because the precedent has been set now, it can happen to anyone. And it's happened to a few more people since this case. But the bottom line is she was 15, she was groomed by people who were aiming for kids, impressionable kids. But let's just say we put that to the side, what's a three week year old baby got to do with that? I mean for God's sake mate, have some shame. And if we are to go by the same logic, here's another article by the same newspaper where a couple decide to name their child after Hitler. But what does the newspaper do? Does it call the child a Nazi? Oh no! Why not? Because he's just a baby. Double standards, hypocrisy or plain stupidity. Take your pick guys. Morals, values, common sense is gone down the bog mate. And then you want us to feel sympathy for some kid who might have been born to a woman we don't know who wanted to join the enemy. No I'm sorry, no sympathy here. It's time we put British children first, the children of people who love this country. They exploited the loopholes in our laws to enter the country as unaccompanied alien minors. They look so innocent, they're not innocent. Let's hope that the viewers and myself can keep our sanity during these testing times. And until next time guys, Salaamu Alaikum.